What's up and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys on how to connect your Xbox Elite controller to your PC on any of the current Windows, whether you have Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1 and Windows 10. However, for demonstration purposes, we will be using Windows 10 as that is the current operating system that I'm running. One thing I would like to outline is if you have purchased this controller and hope to use this wirelessly on your PC, uh, now this will not be possible unless you buy a wireless adapter and that is only compatible with Windows 10. So if you're running Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 8.1, you will only be able to connect this controller to the PC using a wired connection. No wireless connection regardless of the, uh, the wireless adapter that you may buy because that is only compatible with Windows 10. So for wired connectivity to the PC, we'll be using the controller right here and the micro USB cable, which I already have connected to the PC, as you can see right there in the front IO USB port. Um, what we also need to make sure is that this micro USB cable um, has the capabilities for both data and power. Now, if you do have a cable that is only transmitting power, to the controller, it will not be able to find the correct driver and carry out the necessary setup on the PC, hence resulting in an error and the controller not actually uh, syncing to the PC. Um, the best micro USB cable to use for this controller would be the one that's actually supplied with it. I don't have that right now, I'm using a third party adapter, a micro USB cable, um, which is for my Samsung Galaxy. Uh, S7. So this works for the handset and it actually works for the controller as well. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and plug this uh, into the controller right at the front where we can see the micro USB uh, port and you will see that it instantly picks up the driver um, for the controller and the controller gets connected as well to the PC and it's power, powered on as we can see right now. I haven't done any previous setup for this but we are going to go ahead and take a look into the, um, the settings on the PC just in case uh, yours doesn't pick up automatically and you should know where to be able to find those settings. Okay, so over at the PC we're now going to go ahead and type into the search Bluetooth and we're going to click on Bluetooth and other device settings. Now the reason why I'm searching for Bluetooth and not actually for anything else relating to the wired connectivity is because this is the closest application that will find us the relevant, set relevant settings that we need in order to make sure that our controller does show up on the PC on Windows 10 in the settings tab uh, as connected to the PC right now. So if we take a look um, within the settings right now for Bluetooth and other devices and here at the bottom under other devices we can see that there is a controller which is actually connected uh, to the PC um, and we're able to tell that because the controller here is powered on uh, it is connected to the PC using a micro USB cable and it is a solid uh, white light meaning it's a uh, successfully connected the drivers installed as we can see right there on the screen and this means that we're good to go and we're able to uh, play play the games which are supported by the controller which are 99.9% .9 of the games now if you don't see if you don't see your controller showing up here uh, it could be a number of issues that you might have encountered and they're pro possibly related to either the cable um, either the USB port that you might be using. The best way to troubleshoot that would be then to go ahead and right click on your Windows icon here and click on Device Manager and once you're in Device Manager it should show up the controller um, connection or the driver here with a yellow exclamation mark uh, meaning that it you know, hasn't been successfully able to connect and you might have to do a forced driver installment on that. So that would be another way for you to troubleshoot that. However, for us, the controller is connected, so I'm just going to go ahead and demonstrate uh, a game using the wired connectivity on Xbox Elite controller. Okay, so for demonstration purposes, we'll be using Call of Duty Black Ops here with our Xbox Elite controller connected to the PC using the micro USB cable right here. So we're just going to go ahead and press A to see if this responds to the game. 
and we can see that it did actually respond instantly uh, by pressing that A. Let's now launch the menu for uh, Black Ops here and we're able to navigate up and down using the D-pad and using the analog stick right here. So I won't be doing any sort of gameplay here. Um, it was just purely to show you guys on how to connect the controller to the PC using the micro USB cable um, and just launch the game to show you that, that it does actually respond to the commands uh, in that game. But if you do want to see any sort of gameplays, you know, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. I'll try to do them in the future. Uh, but this video was... Uh, purely for tutorial purposes and if you do have any questions make sure to drop them in the comment section below and I'll try my best to get back to you. Now I hope this video has been um, helpful, you have actually enjoyed watching it and if you have then please make sure to subscribe to the channel for further content. Until next time, peace out.